is Nick Nelson, Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you today is a great bicep exercise. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, the concept of positions of flexion by Steve Holman, the basic idea is you have three positions of flexion, essentially. You have a mid-range, um, when you're doing um, a curl, for example, that is the standard bicep curl. That puts most tension on the muscle at the halfway point, which is basically the sticking point of the curl. Then you have the stretch position, which is the incline dumbbell curl, which means you're laying back, you get a massive stretch, your arm is back behind your body. Now, the contracted position for the biceps, the most peak contracted position you can get is arm overhead and then like so, with that curling down. Now, it's really hard to get resistance in that position. You know, you basically are limited to cable movements. So, you know, in order to really, really get that hard contraction, what we want to do is find a cable movement that allows you to use a lot of resistance. And that's where most overhead pulling down cable movements really kind of fall short. Is you can really only use like 20 to 30 pounds, if that, to really get that solid contraction. Otherwise, you're just pulling down with your lats. Now, we're actually going to basically take that pulling down with your lats concept to the next level. I've got a, an exercise that looks like a cable crunch, but it's actually cable crunch slash cable behind the neck curl. Now, a lot of behind the neck curls tend to focus a lot on the lats, like I was saying before. This version done using the cable can be done, can be done fairly heavy. Now, I'll give you a quick demo here and I'll explain a little bit more. What you want to do, set a pretty good weight on the bar, use a straight bar attachment because the straight bar is going to allow for that maximum supination, which is one of the major functions of the bicep. You don't want to do like a neutral grip or a reverse grip, it's not going to have quite the same effect. So make sure you're using that straight bar attachment. Kneel down in front, you're going to be arms straight at the top. Then as you crunch down, doing a cable crunch essentially, you're going to pull that bar and really squeeze and contract the biceps as hard as you can. That's really the key with this one, is getting that contraction at the top. I'm sorry, at the bottom. So, A couple of points to note as you're doing this one. As you're coming down, you're not really wanting to focus on crunching with your abs. You actually want to focus on pulling that bar back behind your head and really using that as the primary mover. Um, as you're curling down, that's what's really going to activate the biceps. It's not as much of a side effect of the cable crunch as it is actively crunch, uh, curling with your hands. Now, what you want to also strive to do is keep your elbows up as you're crunching down, you do want that stretch on the lats. You do want that arm in the maximum overhead position because that's what's going to give you the maximum contraction. So, like I said, keep that arm overhead, crunch and really focus on squeezing with the biceps, especially at the bottom. If you find yourself kind of losing that contraction at the bottom, stop moving at the bottom, let your elbows come up, and then squeeze down a little more. That will really help you engage the biceps a lot more strongly. So, next time you're in biceps, Give this one a try as a finisher. This is perfect when done as the last um, exercise in your bicep workout.